You know what? I'm finally ready to film a video again. Hey Freddy, caught anything good today? I reckon so. Let's get cooking. So let's get all of our mise en place. That's Babish. So you'll need a medium sized glass mixing bowl, your breadcrumbs, tuna, eggs, of which they're fresh from your brother's farm, and most importantly, your Raffles Cooks trusty wooden spoon. But you thought I forgot about that. Let's roll. So we're going to kick things off by opening both of our cans of tuna with our fancy electric cam opener. Thanks very much Mum for that little housewarming present. Hasn't stopped being fun yet. Even if it's quite loud, it takes ages. My God, look at that. This is the future. And then drain both cans loosely, leaving a small amount of water in them and pop them into your nice glass bowl. And the other one. For those of you doubters that said my one-handed egg cracking was fake, and by that I mean literally no one, watch this. Ha! Huh, not too bad. One take, baby. God. <laughs> now at this stage, don't confuse it for your bodybuilder's breakfast. Thanks. So now, next in, we're gonna put about half a cup of breadcrumbs. So now we're going to need two large spring onions, or springos, and they're actually called spring onions, because watch this. They bounce really efficiently. Then chop those springos up into fairly small pieces. You want a bit of a bite, but not too much to them. And then in they go. And then for seasonings, we're going to go in with a tablespoon of salt and pepper, freshly ground of course, tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning, I'm actually using paprika here, and then one teaspoon of your favourite chilli paste of some sort. So now to give it all a good mix together, and hopefully it should come together nicely. So now we're just going to let this sit in the fridge for about half an hour or so. And then, it's bonus clip time. So, quick bonus clip while we're waiting for it all to cure in the fridge. Let's make my favorite iced coffee. You're gonna need two Nespresso's from that bad boy behind me. Not sponsored, of course, yet. Then you're gonna get some ice. So, with your clean hands, about three ice cubes. And then milk of your choice. Mm. And then, your favourite syrup. Which syrup is that, Raffles? It's actually glazed donut flavour that I bought from HomeSense last week. Delicious. And then your housemate's metal straws. Thanks very much, Miriam. And then, iced coffee is served. Cheers. Cheers. That's actually really nice. So once your patties have been formed, we're now going to pop them into our <coughs> preheated 180 degrees Celsius or 300 something Fahrenheit. And we'll see these little fellas in about 30 to 40 minutes. Night night. So I've just checked them after 25 minutes and I'm gonna say they look pretty good. So let's leave them down to rest for a few minutes. And then of course, it's time for the good old taste test. See you then. And here's a quick preview of what they look like when you cut into them. Not too shabby. Ooh, that's some fine steam. But most importantly, how does it taste? So we're here with a taste test with my brother and food connoisseur, Freddy. Go follow us on Instagram, here from here, by the way. But how does it taste? Mmm, I like you. Oh, two thumbs up. Worth making. Really delicious. Well done, Raffles. See you next week. And they actually turned out so well, I made it into a sort of salad 
and had it for my lunch while watching my favourite YouTuber, of course. And here's a few bloopers to finish off the video. I'll just say I'm just boning and gutting it. <laughs> you ready? I feel right. So next in is two large springos, and we're going to get to chopping. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to go through the 